Hi, I'm Duncan McCallum, CEO and co-founder of Silk Arts, a company whose mission is to provide the easiest, quickest, and most reliable way to optimize application performance on multi-core processors. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the change that's sweeping through the computing industry, the implications it has for customers, um, some of the specific, prob specific problems that creates around multi-core programming and the Silk Plus Plus solution. Uh, then if there's time at the end, I'll tell you a little bit about the kind of company we're trying to build in our corporate values. So first, the problem. Um, if you read the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, or any of the industry rags covering the computing industry, you're aware of multi-core processing and this brand new change in the semiconductor industry. So what does that mean and why is that happening? Um, this is a change being driven by the semiconductor vendors in order to cope with a fundamental fundamental physical limitation, which is preventing them from scaling processing performance the way they used to. Uh, if you're familiar with Moore's Law, Moore's Law says that the transistor density continues to double every 18 months, and that's been the case for 20 years and will continue to be the case. The issue, however, is that the predominant way that performance has been driven historically is by accelerating clock speed, 1 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz, 4 gigahertz, and that conveyor belt has stopped. Power density on chip is, rises as a square or the cube of frequency and can no longer, the vendors can no longer increase clock speed without the chips melting. So they've been forced to a new architecture and that architecture is multi-core processors. Which simply put means using this increasing transistor density uh, in a different way, which is to put multiple processing cores on a single piece of silicon. Actually works quite well and it does alleviate the performance bottleneck and does wonderful things in terms of performance per watt. Problem is it creates an enormous shift in the way we need to develop software applications. Um, and, and basically what's going on is that parallel programming, which has been relegated to a niche and has always been very, very difficult, and something that mainstream software development houses and typical C++ programmers could avoid, can no longer avoid it. Uh, if a software developer wants to drive high performance on these new chip architectures, they're forced to deal with multi-core or parallel programming. And our company was founded to help make that problem easier. Uh, the problem gets described to us by customers at the macro level in two ways. Um, first, uh, and at this point we've met with uh, over 80 customers, detailed um, in-person briefings and a bunch of partners. Um, and the first thing they're all saying is, yes, they will develop new applications for multi-core processors, but the applications they care about first are the legacy. Applications that have been written for single-core processors simply aren't suited, in most cases, to run well on multi-core processors. We have billions of dollars invested in legacy software that needs to be brought forward onto the new platforms. The second problem at the macro level is that that porting, that bringing forward of the legacy applications onto the new architectures requires parallel programming skill sets. And the typical C++ programmer does not have that skill set. So we've got a big skills gap in the industry between the requirements for programming these new processors and the workforce that exists today in, in, uh, in the programming world. Let's take that down a level and give you some specifics and then, I'll tell you, and then we'll tell you a little bit about our solution. Um, a typical early adopter for us uh, is an ISV with a performance sensitive CPU constrained application that's historically run on x86 processors and now needs to be brought forward. Uh, and I'll give you uh, sort of a canonical example, a Windows application vendor. Their legacy application is 7 million lines of code and their development organization is about 200 people strong. This particular customer brought all of the programmers in the company who had ever done any parallel computing or multi-threaded development to our first meeting, and there were five of them. Big skills gap. So what's the problem? To take the seven million lines of code using anything other than Silk++ and get them to run a multi-core processor requires a dramatic restructuring of the application to break it into pieces so it can run in parallel. It's risky, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it requires skills that most companies don't have today. Um, and to get those skills, either have to hire new people or retrain the folks they have. 
Uh, the second problem that they have is application performance and not just great performance on four core, which is kind of the current generation of x86 processor, but performance that will scale with the number of cores up as the number of cores continues to double every processor generation, which it will, and which will scale down so that cust all customers can run the same binary regardless of what hardware they're running. The third problem customers have is software reliability. When you move to multi-threaded or parallel development, you get a new kind of software bug called a race condition. Uh, race conditions are particularly problematic. Uh, they're difficult to avoid because most folks have trouble keeping multiple things in their head and figuring out what's going on in their applications or writing it. Um, and the bugs are very difficult to test for and resolve because they're non-deterministic. Um, meaning that this, the same bug, uh, a race condition will arise when things get scheduled in a way that's not predicted. And it's very hard to run tests which will expose all possible schedules of an execution. So those are the three problems again. It's design time or development time, application performance, and software reliability. Uh, the SOAP++ Plus Plus solution uh, is purpose-built designed to solve those three problems with a particular focus on legacy applications and bringing parallel computing to the masses. That is enabling C++ developers to write in, in typical mainstream serially experienced C++ developers to write multi-thread or parallel applications. Um, so a little bit about the company and um, you know, what Silk Arts is all about. Um, I told you our mission statement, to provide the easiest, quickest, and most reliable way to optimize application performance on multiple processors. That's a mission that's important to us. Uh, we've got solutions we're quite proud of. We're commercializing 15 years of research at MIT and the technology that we're basing our products upon is technology we're quite proud of. Um, but beyond that, um, we're quite proud of the way that we do business. Um, and that's it, um, evoked in our, in our value statement. Um, Silk Arts celebrates beauty and engineering, empathy and business, integrity and fairness in all that we do. So what does that mean, beauty and engineering? Beauty and engineering means that we believe that there's a right way to build products and a right way to design things. And a crude hack or an expedient path to a solution that may not endure is not something we appreciate. So beauty and engineering. Empathy and business. What does empathy mean? Empathy is listening. Listening to customers, listening to each other, listening to our partners, listening to the community, listening to our investors. And we do a lot culturally in terms of our systems, in terms of our process, in terms of how we operate ourselves to make sure that we are active listeners and the things that we hear get folded back into our product plans, our marketing plans, our human resource plans, recruiting, how we manage investment, how we run the company. So we're very much a closed loop company. Um, and everything that we do is tuned around making sure that we get as much data as we can, as frequently as we can, as thorough as we can and folding that back in what we do. And our customers are experiencing that. I think they would all say that we listen actively uh, to what they have to say, and that's important. Integrity, uh, you know, it's about no shortcuts. Um, we will always share the news, good news or bad news, um, and treat people the way we want to be treated ourselves. And fairness, I think, is obvious. So that's Silk Arts, thank you for listening. And, um, Happy multi-core processing to you.